The High Commissioner for Human Rights, Volker Turk, has called for prompt, thorough and impartial investigations into what it called deplorable acts of human rights violations during the elections and for those responsible to be held to account. This mirrored an earlier statement on behalf of the Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, who is closely monitoring developments. He said he is concerned about the arrest of observers, reports of voter intimidation, threats of violence, harassment and coercion. The Secretary General called on political leaders and their supporters to reject any and all forms of violence, threats of violence or incitement to violence to ensure that human rights and the rule of law are fully respected. The Secretary General also called on political actors to peacefully settle any disputes through established legal and institutional channels and to urge the competent authorities to resolve any disputes in a fair, expeditious and transparent manner to enable that the results are a true reflection of the will of the people. Earlier, the U.S. State Department strongly condemned the intimidation and disruption of lawful election observers throughout the electoral period, while pointing to concerns expressed by multiple observer missions, including from SADC, questioning the transparency, independence, fairness and credibility of all stages of the electoral process. The South African presidency on Monday congratulated Zimbabwe on the elections, with Pretoria indicating it was conscious that the poll took place under a difficult economic environment due to burgeoning sanctions, which the people of Zimbabwe continue to unjustly endure. But U.S. President Joe Biden in March this year informed Congress that the Zimbabwean government, including President Emerson Mnangagwa, had not made the necessary political and economic reforms that would warrant terminating the existing targeted sanctions that have been in place since 2003. And it's this absence of progress on the most fundamental reforms needed to ensure the rule of law, democratic governance and the protection of human rights, in addition to the critical reports of multiple observer missions that are likely to affirm the current U.S. posture towards Zimbabwe's political class. Sherwin Bryceby's SABC News, New York.